welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rochelle and I can help you as a new entrepreneur, a new business person, or just the average person who wants to start and grow an online business. If you are looking at making money online for the first time and you are just beginning your journey, this channel is for you. This channel is for beginners. It do step-by-step -step video tutorials on building a YouTube channel, creating a WordPress website, content marketing, social media marketing, and affiliate marketing. If you are a beginner and you are looking for just the facts, then you have arrived at the right channel. And this is the right channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you the new way how to add your subtitles in the YouTube studio. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to the video. Before we go to the subtitles in the YouTube studio, I just want to give you a little bit of background information about subtitles. Where they're, where they're located, what they are, and the different options that are available to you. As a new beginner, and just first learning about transcripts and learning about subtitles and closed captions, these are your subtitles. And you can turn your subtitles on and off by clicking on this icon right here. If you choose the settings gadget, and you tap into the settings gadget, you will then see you can choose subtitles slash closed captions, and mine is English, and the side arrow, you would tap on the side arrow and here you will see subtitles slash clo uh, closed captions off, English, English auto-generated, and auto-translate. If you are, if, if you are reading in a different language, or if you are speaking a different language, you can click on auto-translate, and here you can choose your language. through all of these different languages that are here. And there's quite a few that you can choose from. Say I chose the Punjabi. I would tap on my language and the subtitles slash closed captions would turn into the language that I chose. And at any time, I could also go back into my subtitles and choose options. And here I would have an option of choosing the font that I would like to read, the font color, the font size, the background color, the background opacity, the window color, the window opacity, the character edge style, the font opacity, and I could also click on Reset. This will reset to the default language of the video. As a video creator, it is good to have this information available to you. 
to to realize that even if you are w looking at something that is in another language that you can put it into you can auto translate it into your own language in order to understand the video let's jump right back into the YouTube studio to your subtitles the first way is to go in through a specific video into the details the second way is to just scroll down this left hand panel until you get to subtitles and click into subtitles. Let's look at the first way. Tap on details for your video. You will see video details coming up and here you want to scroll down language subtitles and closed captions subtitles and closed captions your video language and I call the caption search if, uh, a certification and if you click into the downward arrow you can choose one of these certifications the easiest one for me is this content has never aired on television or U.S. And here you will see that in, this is mine. This is English. It says English by you. And that's because I've already created the, the subtitles for this video. And you will see English by YouTube. This is YouTube telling you that it has automatically transcribed your video. If you click into these three dots here, you will see edit in Classic Studio and that does no longer exist. You can also download the transcript or you can delete it. I wouldn't delete it. the easiest way and the fastest way for you to put your subtitles on is to go into the left hand panel and click on subtitles so you are going into the subtitles on the left just tap on subtitles this icon right here When you have the hand with the pointed up finger and you mouse over it, it will say subtitles. And it will also turn a bright red with a line showing where you are. The top will say video subtitles. And what you will be looking for is the automatic, your language, automatic, and then duplicate and edit. And then you would just tap on duplicate and edit. that I created subtitles, that this will overwrite the existing English draft, and that's fine. We'll just go continue. Before we get started with editing your transcript. There's a few 
key elements I just want to point out to you first. This is where you will always find your, your text. When you are editing this line here, it will appear under your video, under the, the timings that it is under, and you will see it if you are editing very quickly to very quickly edit you need to have a program called Grammarly and when you look in the description and you find this link It will take you to the Grammarly app. Here is the Grammarly app. Install the Grammarly app in which it will appear here. It is a browser extension and you can use it on You can get the you can get the Grammarly browser extension, which you will see up at the top of your browser, in which you can use in different places and different apps. And you can also get the Grammarly for your mobile. Grammarly is wonderful when it comes to doing your transcripts you can very easily go through your transcript and where you see this red line this is Grammarly telling you that you have spelt a word wrong so if you place your cursor right in between where the red line is and Scroll down and you will see the right spelling and sometimes it suggests words as well. So you can just go through your script. So it is artificial intelligence, it will read your text, and it will underline what it feels that you need to correct. So you would just go through your whole script using Grammarly and this is what I just typed in Grammarly has found this error and say I wanted to add this word to my dictionary I would now add the new word to the dictionary so you can do that for your name or any other words that Grammarly doesn't understand. So this is a very good tool and a very good app for doing your transcripts. So you would go through all of your transcript. Grammarly will find where you have mistakes, spelling mistakes. It will correct some grammar and sometimes it does give you commas. For instance, say I put a comma here and it will be reading my script. It will now find this I here as being 
small, so now it wants to show me that this is a capital I. So you can go through your whole script. And then you can also add your emojis through your script very easily. You could either add an emoji using the right click on your mouse and your emoji. Choose your emoji. Make sure your cursor is in the place that you would like to choose your emoji. Just choose your emoji wherever you would like to see it. You can slide this over to see where you are in your document. So this is at the end of the document, so I'm just going to scroll down here. Just to show you, whenever you change something, it will change. And then you have just by clicking into your emoji and here you can see it's changed from the small to the capital and, the and then this one will appear here as well and you would add it's just basically the same way as the other one except for it just has a different a different layout So you would go through, depending on how long your whole transcript, change anything that you want, add any emojis, just going to mute that. And also you can use what, uh, what's you can use, which is called a key, a emoji keyboard. And here you have people, objects, symbols, flags, food, food transcripts. You can just click into one of these tabs up here, click into your emoji, and it will appear here on your transcript. So you can either use your right click emoji and choose your emoji. You can use the keyboard, the emoji keyboard, and this is for your Chrome browser. And you can just click into it once you have it installed. And you will see the pop-up box come up. So I clicked it too. And you can choose any one of these emojis just by simply clicking into it. It will then be copied to 
to your transcript. And anytime you make a mistake, you can just click the undo, or if you want to redo. For instance, here's undo. It's now going to take away my last edit. Or I could click the redo which will give me back my last edits that I made. So now it's given me back my last edits. This is your timing here. But this is the, the fastest way that I found how you can do your transcripts is just to quickly go through your editing using the Grammarly, put your capitals on. If you want to use punctuation, then put your punctuation in. And add your emojis. Assign your timings. And here is where you can change your timings. You can change your time in the box here and it will change down there. You could even delete whole blocks if you wanted to. And here are your keyboard shortcuts for people who like to use their keyboard. So you can edit your captions with just using your keyboard. If you look at these different keys that you need to that you need to press. Or if you want to to do any of these other movements, such as zoom in, zoom out, zoom to fit, undo and redo. The ones to remember is the undo, which is the control Z, and the redo, which is the control Y. <laughs> Those two I would remember. And you have many that you can look at. And then when you are ready, and this does not take long, you can also click into these three dots. You can download your subtitles, you can clear your subtitles, or you can upload a file. And at any time, if you don't want to be editing in these boxes, you can click on Edit as Text and you can add extra captions just by clicking into this plus this will give you another caption box and then when you are done you will just click publish and you just added another caption box in there so I don't want that so I'm going to click on my undo and then that should take that away it will take away your last edit or the edit up to the time that you actually saved or published so I find this the easiest way to be able to edit your transcriptions it's not boring um, YouTube has really did a good job in helping us creators to be able to edit our transcripts and to close captions or, and subtitles. The closed captions are actually used for TV, but the subtitles are what appears on your video. And then you would just click publish.
and there there it says English subtitles published and it will appear right here at the top so you will have your your English that you created also English the video language and English the automatic and that is what YouTube has created If you have found this video helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you could put a like on the bottom of the video, this will help this video to go out to other people who want to learn about subtitles, who, who actually may not know about subtitles. Because I know when I first started, I didn't use subtitles. I didn't know what they were. And I also didn't know that YouTube did a transcript of the subtitles for each video so it's a good idea to use subtitles because otherwise you could be um, you could be just reading subtitles on a video and if you turn on subtitles on a video where the person has not corrected the information that YouTube has put on you could read some very funny stuff Thank you.